shocking to say the least. Just uh, you know, giving away a goal in 30 seconds on um, a situation that we've talked about the entire week and trained the entire week. We knew where they were coming. Uh, just a poor initial sort of read by Nick. Uh, kind of steps in. Uh, then he finds himself in a foot race, and he's instead of just really dropping hard, he's kind of looking over his shoulder and not really gaining any speed, and he ends up in a in a real foot race with a guy who's very quick. And it just it's absurd because again, it wasn't really in a uh, in a situation where we had lots of numbers forward. We had enough guys to, uh, to make breakaway uh, on us, which is silly. Um, second goal, same again, just uh, poor read, poor choice, stepping forward. Bows the space in behind, rolls them in behind, and uh, you know before we really even know we're down 2-0. So um, <clears throat> third goal is just uh, we're looking, we're finding ways to get in each other's way for a moment, or finding ways to give away goals. And that was that was one of those instances of a play that was cleaned up and should have been dealt with. And uh, you know three seconds later we're pulling out of the back of our net. Um, so um, you know aside from that, I thought on the attacking side there were some decent combinations and. Um, but again, final product in terms of really making them come up with saves, we didn't have too many. Um, then we hit halftime, uh, or we hit the stoppage, uh, and uh, tried to regroup. And it was a long break, and, but you know, credit to the guys for uh, not bowing and uh, you know, coming out and really competing hard for the remainder of the match. And quite frankly, had enough chances to to maybe squeak something out there. Uh, anything else about the second half? You, know, you scored. I mean, you scored two goals now in back-to-back -back road games. You probably expect to get something from those games. I guess. What does that say about um, just the defense and, and how you didn't prove that? Yeah. It, it, yeah. I mean, you can't give away three goals, right? And uh, and especially uh, frustrating to give away goals uh, and get yourself behind. Uh, we talked about being stable in, uh, in this game and. The longer the game went 0-0, zero, zero, the more it would turn in our favor and find our moments. Uh, you know, for 30 seconds, we find ourselves behind one. So, uh, for sure, our defending has to has to improve. Our just our individual defending uh, has to be better. The decisions that we make as individuals have to be better. But you know, credit to I give a lot of credit to Justin Morrow who came over to the right side and it's not his natural uh, position. And um, I thought he gave a great battle uh, against Castillo. He's not an easy guy to play with a lot of space to deal with. And I thought Justin did a did a really good job. You know. Aside from that, I think um, our attacking play and just the overall fight and commitment that we showed in the second half for us is maybe a lesson in what it really takes um, for us to compete at the level that we want to compete at and that we should be competing at. Because I thought the the fight was was really there and what was a was a difficult evening, you know, after three hours of break before we played. Michael Bradley played in a higher attacking role today in the midfield. What made you decide to change that up? Well, to be fair, part of it was uh, adding another sort of workhorse in the midfield. Uh, you know, from a defensive standpoint, in previous games, uh, Sebastian was in there, and Sebastian's uh, as great as he is as an attacker, and all the different ideas that he gets going forward, it's not really his thing to defend. And so, with Michael in there, he's a kind of a box-to-box -box guy. And uh, Michael, and with Colin sitting in, we know Colin will sit and be, be right in front of those center backs. And with Michael, he would he would do sort of some dirty work both both ways, and maybe give us a little more defensive presence. And and also push uh, Sebastian up into his little slightly more natural position at forward. Um, so that was the initial thought. Uh, and, um, you know, whether it worked or didn't work, uh, it's tough to say when you give away a goal in, in 30 seconds. Had you, had you considered starting more on the right, or was, was Haglund just kind of, the third, I guess, the third string kind of fullback since the other two were down? Yeah, it was it was uh, it was a consideration, obviously, and obviously in consultation with uh, players, and sort of their comfort level with thing. But really, it was um, mostly it's a decision that we make based on uh, Nick has played outside back uh, many times last year and, and did a solid job defensively. It's, um, you know, his task for the day was not to give us a whole lot in the attack, but just to be real solid in his position defensively and. and you know, obviously enough said about the first 30 seconds, but that, that really knocks a guy's confidence when uh, when he gets himself in a tough situation early. And this, I guess maybe just mentioned this have his individual kind of brilliance then at the end it, uh, to bring you back like that. Um, I guess it just shows you his quality can get keep you in game as going forward. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's um, obviously he's a special player in terms of. Uh, 
in all aspects going forward. Really, his finishing was uh, was good, especially on uh, um, that first goal was incredibly cheeky. I don't know if I've ever seen that in this league. Somebody have that that presence to be able to just chip the ball over. But the first touch to get around the corner was uh, uh, unbelievable, really. Um, but for me, it was it was a, a positive in that Seba really sort of stepped up and took some things on his shoulders and said, uh, I'm going to drive this team forward and I'm, I'm going at some people. And I thought uh, that for us needs to be a, a lesson of sort of, again, how we need to compete and how we need to go after things. And you know, I thought Josie played strong and, and held up the ball and um, brought people into the game and got himself uh, in front of the goal. He didn't, obviously didn't have the, the great chance, but I thought his presence was, was solid. Um, Obviously, Michael's going to do the work that, that he always does, but Seba, Seba has the ability to, to have those special moments for sure. Um, but I, I thought overall there was some some good attacking moments. A couple of plays that we broke, we broke the midfield pressure, and touches just got away from us. But things were up for some good opportunities. One combination play that came through the middle of the field where the ball was dummied, and a couple guys combined off of each other. Just some really good some good moments uh, that we can build off of. Was this kind of the strangest night in the you've ever been a part of, considering the three-hour yeah, I mean, break and the of storm. Yeah, it's definitely up there. I mean, uh, throw into the fact that we're down 3-0 when all of it happens, uh, and then you have a, a long delay. Um, a lot of question whether we're going to actually play the game or not play the game, how long we're going to to play the game, because we actually went and warmed up twice and uh, had lightning strikes within just a couple minutes of going out each time and had to come back. So um, so yeah, it's, it's a strange night, but like I said, it's uh, the one thing to take away is the resiliency of the group. They, they stuck there, and uh, he really came out to compete in the second half.